to minimize risk and maximize returns in stock trading, constant research, analysis, staying updated with the latest news, following market trends, and understanding how to read financial statements are key tasks when deciding if a company is worth investing in. However, all those tasks require an extensive amount of time and effort. What if you can build an AI agent to do all those things for you? In this Pydentic AI tutorial, I am going to show you how to build a stock researcher AI agent in Python to help you with market research, technical analysis, and stock recommendations to make better stock trading decisions. This is going to be a beginner-friendly tutorial. The only thing you will need is some Python experience and have API access to a generative model like OpenAI, Gemini, or Anthropic. For demonstration, I will be using OpenAI's GPT-40 mini model in this tutorial, given the model usage cost is extremely inexpensive. Generally, I would recommend using something more powerful like GPT-40 or Anthropic Cloud 3.5 or combining multiple agents to delegate different tasks, but that is for a separate video. If you are someone who is looking for more hands-on experience building AI agents, then you will definitely find this video helpful. If you have never heard of Pydentic AI before, Pydentic AI is an open source, lightweight Python framework that makes it easy to build AI-powered applications. The framework is designed with a strong focus on type safety and structured data handling. It leverages Pydentic's powerful validation system to ensure that AI responses follow a consistent format, making it easier to integrate LLMs into real-world applications. By enforcing clear data structures and providing built-in tools for dependency injection, monitoring, and debugging, Pedantic AI helps developers build reliable, maintainable, and production-ready AI systems. To get the market news and company data, we will be using Yfinance Python package. Yfinance is a Python package for accessing Yahoo Finance data, stock price, company's financial statements, and metrics without requiring signing up for Yahoo API subscription. To get started, Launch your terminal and run the command to install Pydantic AI, Yfinance, and Rich Python libraries. The Rich Python package is optional. It is mainly used to improve the command line interface experience for the users. To create Yahoo Finance tool functions, create a Python file and let's name it yahoofinance.py. In the script, import JSON and Yfinance Python packages. Because there are quite a few functions we need to create to fetch different Yahoo Finance data, create a Python class called Yahoo Finance so we can organize the functions more easily. Inside the class, create the functions to fetch financial data with static method decorator to make them as regular functions. There are nine functions we are going to assign to the stock researcher agent, and I will go through them individually. First, we have the getCurrentPrice function that takes a stock ticker to get the current stock price. Keep in mind that when you pass an output to feed to an agent, the output must be in string format. Next, we have the getCompanyInfo function to gather company data. Using the getCompanyInfo function, we can fetch key details about the company such as its name, symbol, current stock price market cap, sector, industry address, and other descriptive fields. Having these details at your fingertips helps you quickly understand the company's profile and fundamentals. And here's the rest of the function. Once all this information is assembled into a dictionary, convert it to string using JSON dump function. And we will follow the same pattern to create the rest of the functions. The get historical stock prices fetches historical stock price data for a specified period and interval, provides a look at how a stock's price has moved over a specified period. For the default period, I am going to set it to one month with one day interval. Depending on your use case, 
you may need to modify the default values accordingly. Moving on, the getStock fundamentals function queries a variety of financial metrics to dive deeper into a company's financial metrics, including its forward price earnings ratio, price to book ratio, dividend yield, and 52 week high and low. For stock traders, these numbers help in evaluating whether a stock is potentially overvalued or undervalued and whether the company's overall financial health suits a particular investment strategy. And here's the rest of the function. The get income statement function retrieves the company's revenues, operating costs, and net income for key reporting periods. By analyzing how consistently a company grows its top line and manages its expenses, traders can gauge profitability trends and anticipate potential stock price movements based on earnings performance. The Get Key Financial Ratios function delves into an array of ratios and metrics that shed light on the company's leverage, efficiency, and liquidity. Ratios like debt to equity or return on equity help traders quickly measure the company's stability and profitability, providing another layer of insight for deciding whether to buy, hold, or sell. The Get Analyst Recommendations function returns how Yahoo analysts rate the stock and any changes in their price targets or sentiment. This information offers a snapshot of Wall Street consensus which many traders use to supplement their own technical or fundamental analysis. The Get Company News function focuses on getting the latest headlines and press releases tied to the company such as major announcements, partnerships, or product launches that can significantly move a stock price. And the last function, Get Technical Indicators, returns the data on price movements over a chosen range. This data is essential for computing and visualizing trends, moving averages, and other indicators that technical traders rely on for timing entries and exits in the market. And now that we have finished creating the finance tool, let's move on to building the stock research agent. Create a Python file and name it stockresearcheragent.py. In the script, import the Python packages showing on the screen. Next, create the console object and system prompt variable. The system prompt variable is going to be the guideline for the agent to follow to generate the desired output. And here's the instruction I'm using to generate the analysis report. Basically, I am just defining in each step what the section should be and what information to include. Here's the rest of the instruction. This step is optional, but if you want to save an analysis or report into an actual file, create an async function called save report as file with report content and file name as parameters. This will be one of the tools for the agent to use. In Pydentic AI, we can control the model setting using the model settings class. Here, create an OpenAI model settings object and set the temperature to 0.2 to make the response more deterministic and max tokens to 8,000 as the length limit for the agent output. Different models have different token limits. Make sure you refer to the provider's documentation for the details. Now let's bring everything together and create the stock researcher agent using the agent class. In the agent setup, give the agent a name and attach the model, model settings, system prompt, and functions it has access to. So by default, you can treat a generative model as a library. It only knows the things it has in its knowledge base. To ensure the researcher agent always retrieves the latest information, we need to inform the agent what today's date is. Create a function called today date and use agent system prompt decorator to append the information to the system message. 
Now we need to create an interactive chat loop where users can ask the agent questions. Create a message history list is a conversational context to keep track of previous messages between the user and the agent. Define the main function to handle user input and process responses from the agent in a continuous loop. Then insert a while loop and use prompt ask function to prompt the user for input. Here, process the user input through agent run stream function and stream the response in real time. Store the generated response in message history to maintain context. And to launch a chat session, call the main function with async io run. Now save the file and run the script. For the first input, let's ask what's the stock price of Intel and Home Depot. From the output, the agent returns the current stock price for Intel is 26.9 and for Home Depot is 394.64 because we are tracking the conversation history. Here, I can ask the agent to generate an executive report for those companies and it will know the companies I am referring to based on the history log. If we want to save the report as an actual file, simply tell the agent to save the report with a given file name. A few other things you can do with the agent, such as asking for recommendation for low risk stock to purchase. And earlier, we used today date function to tell the agent today's date. If I ask the agent to gather the latest news for the companies mentioned in the conversation and put it into a cohesive format, it will fetch the latest news only. And that concludes this stock researcher agent development tutorial. Hopefully you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.